Okay, we are here with a new video of the ta of the Taipan Veteran Human Regulator. We have here my Taipan Veteran, and I uh, discovered that I have a, a leaking issue with my Human Regulator, so I uninstall, I disassemble my gun, and I uh, took off the the regulator, the human regulator, in order to see what is happening. But at the same time, I would like to share the way to disassemble the uh, the regulator and talk about some issues I uh, found out. So, well, first, uh, if you have noticed on your Taipan Veteran Regulator, it that uh, the original regulator are bigger than this. So this is a smaller, the human regulator. And um, therefore, we have the spacer, this spacer, aluminum spacer. It's longer than the uh, original spacer from Taipan. But some issue that some uh, users are um, asking or complaining about this is about this spacer well they, they don't know but they they have asked me about why they why do they have a, a gap or a little space here in the in the union with the air tube with the well if you have plenum the the space will be here the gap or here if you don't have plenum so this is a gap like like a 1.5 millimeters or something and that is because the spacer is is more is longer it's longer than what we need so what i'm trying to figure out what i'm trying to do i think i will cut this uh aluminum tube 1.5 millimeter less or something like that i will i will let you know as soon as i know what will be the, the, the measure. But, well, that's uh, one of the issues I would like to talk with you. The other thing is that I realized my gun started to leaking, leaking out from this uh, little point or little uh, hole. It's very, very, very tiny. This hole, maybe it's, it's, it's here. Or let me, let me, let me point out. Uh, let me tell you where here. More or less here. Maybe you cannot. You can see the hole, but it's very, very tiny. Well, the thing is that the regulator has to be here. Uh, this hole has to be uh, among these two orange. But what I uh, used to do is that. I used to have the original spacer instead of the human spacer. So the original spacer is, is smaller, as we said. So the human regulator um, go backward like this. It couldn't be exactly on the, on the middle where it's required. So the spacer was smaller, so the Taipan uh, used to go backward like this. So it was not aligned aligned to the to the hole so i think that's one that's uh that's why i have this issue but then i also realized that i have um, a broken o-ring here maybe i don't know if you will see that let me point it out uh, let me tell you where it's here i hope you can see here is the orange breaking point. It's, it's 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 broken. So I need to replace. Sorry, okay. I need to replace the, this orange. So I will order. I will order a, a rebuild kit from Huma because I don't have a, a spare orange. So I will I will order some rebuild kits. Not only for this, but I have a lot of human regulators, so I will order a bunch of uh, rebuild kits for human. 
And I would like to take the opportunity to share with you how to disassemble this, um, the human regulator, um, the human regulator. Well, because if, uh, of for the for the for the original regulator, there is a video of, with Ernest Rowe. He's explaining how to disassemble and all that. But of uh, for a type and veteran, I haven't seen or haven't watched any video exactly of for the for this regulator. Despite that most of human regulators are similar, but they have different valve washers. So let me let me let me explain or let me share with you how to disassemble. Well the first thing you need to take out is this little locking I don't know exactly the word but this piece <laughs> and you can take off this with a if you have a I think this is a three millimeters a screw or just uh, make some a little hits and there you go it won't happen nothing don't worry it's uh, this piece is coming out and with this uh, plastic part on top here okay so here we have I will put this plastic part here so here we have the the piston let me focus the piston okay there you go and the washers if you can notice we have three pairs so there are six two four six yes six washers belt washers or valve washers i don't know exactly the word but these washers are if you can notice the first two washers we're talking about the type and regulator okay so i don't know exactly all the human regulators are coming the same i don't i don't think so but in this case for the type and the first two are coming like this and the second two are coming like this and nope the second are the first are coming like like this <laughs> the next one like this and the last one like this okay so just uh make sure that when you disassemble this put it the same at the same way there are the, the the washers so to take off the washer you need to remove to remove the washer you need to remove this o-ring and it will be a good opportunity to see the o-ring if it's in good condition if not you have to replace it as well but if it's okay just uh, put some lubricate and that's it and also we have a, another orange here so you can uh, lubricate them okay then we have this this part this screw the this screw is making pressure to the piston the piston goes until that part so there is an o-ring here inside as well so we are going to take off or to remove this screw out but remember where where do you have the the mark or the line for the for the regulator that is in my case it's here on 130 i don't know if you can see it's here there you go this line it's in 130 but you don't know how to screw in to go there so that's why you need to measure it and you will see what is the in this case is 2.66 millimeters so I will try to when I screw in again I will check the B on the same distance okay so to unscrew it just take your flat driver take off or remove it unscrew
Okay, so you will have a little obstruction there, but it's the O-ring, so you can check the O-ring, verify that is everything in good condition. If you can see, if you can notice these two O-rings are uh, brown O-rings. This is because these O-rings are uh, stronger than the black O-rings. Well, at least what I what I know is that uh, I don't know exactly the name in English, but we call uh, here in Spanish uh, beton is the material material beton. So I don't know exactly in English what is the word, but these uh, O-rings usually are stronger than the the nylon or the this material, the black ones. Okay, so you check it and I will lubricate it already. I will lubricate it. I will take advantage that I remove it. I saw that it's in good condition, no scratches. So I put it with, uh, be carefully, because I don't want to damage the o-ring with the thread, because there is a internal thread. So be careful when you screw in or when you put uh, the o-rings. That this was happened. That's why we have this this scratch of this o-ring because when you ha when you want to to. Uh, uh change your your bars or your settings for your regulator you need to take off uh, your regulator all the times you want to make modifications so that's that's why i think this o-ring uh is broken because i i used to take off and put in put in put in, and and that's why because the thread i think it, it scratches okay so When we be almost there, I will start to doing measures. Remember, 2.66 in my case, it needs more. Maybe another turn or two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, you know what? I think first. We will we will put this. I think it doesn't matter if you put uh, first the the piston or this screw, but I think it will be easier if you put first the piston. And I I I I, I will tell you why. Let me screw off. Okay. I will put a little bit and just a uh, maybe half a drop, little little drop of silicone, and I will take the same silicone to lubricate the the bigger one. Okay, so I put this upright, may pressure. Okay, and then. I will put the plastic part. So that's why I'm telling you this is easier because now I've just put the, the part, the plastic part, and there you go. You, I put the, the locking. Mm -hmm. Make sure that is very well secured. Okay, I check that the plastic part is on flat, and now I put the the screw, the, bigger, the this brass screw. Okay, so we're in one hundred and thirty. And I check the 
my mark on my, my line is now on 130. Okay, here you go. Here. But let me check and measure it. And it's mm -hmm. okay, let me focus. Two hundred two point sixty sixty six sixty five. So it's almost there. So it means that it's okay. It's aligned now to my my uh, previous point. That is that it was one hundred and thirty the bars that I want my regulator. So it's done. That's it guys, so I will change the this orange. I will put to my Taipan and then I will uh, check and do some text. So thank you for watching the video. Hope you to see in the next video.